I'm Caitlin Hernandez from LAist, and my event series, Queer LA Live, is back, celebrating wellness with movement, meditation, and joy. It's on November 30th. Get your tickets now at laist.com slash events. LAist Studios. Today on the LA Report, advice for those heading to LAX today, whether you are boarding a flight or handling the pickup and drop off. So you don't have to continue circling the horseshoe. A sneak peek at the 91st annual Hollywood Christmas Parade and how to explore the stars from a local botanical garden. It's Sunday, November 26th. I'm Julia Paskin, and this is the weekend edition of the LA Report from LAist 89.3. Here's the latest news. Lots of Southern Californians have hit the road this Thanksgiving weekend. AAA estimates 3.9 million locals are driving to their holiday destinations. The Auto Club expects to respond to about 90,000 calls from stranded drivers across the state. Southern California spokesperson Doug Shoup says it's a good idea to test your battery, your turn signals, and your lights before a long drive. So doing a little bit of preventative maintenance on that vehicle will hopefully prevent that roadside breakdown and get you to your destination on time, but most importantly, safely. And also check your tires for treaded inflation. Shoop also recommends to look at the weather not only at your destination, but along the route so you can plan accordingly. Some 225,000 travelers are expected to come through LAX just today, and airport officials are recommending that they arrive a couple of hours early. If you do make it through security early and have some time before your flight, here's a few things that you can do. LAX spokesperson Victoria Spillabody says if you have children, head to the Tom Bradley Terminal. We actually have a kids' playground area near the food court. Uh, So that's a great resource for parents. There's also a really neat art feature there that kids love to look at. And if you're hungry before your flight, LAX has expanded its online food service LAX order now for contactless pickup at concessions and even delivery at some gates. Turning now to those saintly people driving others to LAX today and tomorrow. On a busy day, some 92,000 cars could come through the central terminal. Spillbody says LAX wants to avoid drivers circling through the terminals while waiting to pick up passengers. We have two cell phone waiting lots where drivers can wait until their passengers are ready to be picked up from the terminal curb. So that's a great resource for people uh, so you don't have to continue circling the horseshoe. So we'd really encourage the use of those cell phone waiting lots. And of course, arrive early because there will be a lot of traffic at the airport. Passengers should get dropped off at LAX two hours before domestic flights and three for international travel. In other news, SAG-AFTRA has released the full tentative agreement with Hollywood Studios. This comes after criticism from members of the union's rank and file regarding some of the finer points of the draft contract, including over AI protections and whether they go far enough. The voting deadline on the agreement for members is December 5th. Coming up, three ways to explore Los Angeles today, including the annual Hollywood Christmas Parade. The LA's Holiday Gift Guide has helped thousands of our listeners find the perfect gift to say, I love you, and also, I love LA. So we brought it back this year. With the best locally made crafts, food and drink, staff favorite book lists to engross you in Southern California history and engage young minds, one-of-a-kind personal experiences to get you out and about, and ways to take the stress out of the holidays. It's the LA's Holiday Gift Guide at LAist.com slash gift guide. Hi, it's Suzanne Watley. The L.A. Report is perfect for getting you a quick hit of the day's top stories. For a deeper and broader look at the news, join me for NPR's Morning Edition. Starting at 5 a.m., we get you the day's breaking news stories, local, national, and worldwide, and give you a little joy and delight to start your day right. Morning Edition, weekdays from 5 to 9 on the radio at LAist 89.3 and on the LAist app.
back now to the L.A. Report. If you're feeling festive, you can head to the Hollywood Christmas Parade from 6 to 8 p.m. tonight. Spokesperson Steve Moyer says that they've got big plans from award-winning bands to four-story tall balloons. It's the wonderment that little children have when they see all these things going by because it's just a visual and aural spectacle. Entertainment also includes the village people and the Grinch from the Pantages Theater production. The annual parade is held to raise awareness for the Marines Toys for Tots program. We have more information on the parade, including those road closures at LAist.com. Staying with ways to explore Southern California, how about hitting up a flea market? Mayumi Flea Market features handmade goods, ceramics, clothing, art prints, and the like made by Asian American and Pacific Islanders from across the area. But founder Mayumi Kat Matatina says it's not just about the shopping. So there's people selling food outside, there's people tattooing inside, there's DJs playing music, and there's people playing mahjong in this corner. It's it's really fun to have a diversity of like different activities going on at one time. Mayumi Market takes place today from 12 to 6 p.m. For details and to read more about how that market got started, check out LAist.com. And the Astra Lumina Light Show is back at the South Coast Botanical Garden from now until New Year's Eve. It's an immersive experience that integrates sound, video projection, and the Botanic Garden's own plants. Astra Lumina Creative Director Thomas Pintle says it's based around the question, what if the stars could reach us? In the story arc, it starts with the star falling. And then after that, we see the stars through different expression of light and music. And then at the end, it goes back in the sky. Pintle has helped put on similar exhibits from Canada to France to Singapore. You can see photos at LAist.com. Thanks for listening to the Weekend Edition of the L.A. Report. The Weekend L.A. Report is hosted by me, Julia Paskin, and produced by Monica Bushman and Kevin Tidmarsh. Our engineer is Sean Corey Campbell. The podcast is edited by Fiona Ng. Catherine Mailhouse is the Director of Content Development, and our Vice President of Podcasts is Shana Naomi Crockmall. Join us back here tomorrow. You can read more at LAS.com and listen live on the LAS app or on the radio at 89.3 FM. Listeners like you help make the L.A. Report possible. Please donate at laist.com slash join. This podcast is supported by Gordon and Donna Crawford, who believe quality journalism makes Southern California a better place to live.